Do you know what day it is? Let me think. Yes, I know. Is it the 112th anniversary of the invention of cardboard? Mm, no. The state opening of Parliament? No. National No Wanking Day? Close. But here's a clue. What am I acting out? Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Got it. You're? The assassination of Martin Luther King. No, I'm Father Christmas. No, you're not. You're a featherless spangle blister. I'm being Father Christmas because today is Christmas. No, it's not. Christmas does not fall in the middle of March, except in Friends. And that's just down to some piss-awful scheduling. If you have a problem, I suggest you take it up with the General Synod. Everyone ready? For what? I thought we could go down the park and watch the fireworks. What fireworks? The 4th of July display. We'd better hurry up. Oh, for God's sake. What? How can it be Christmas Day, Independence Day and the 10th of March all at the same time? Well, either by some strange and unexplained coincidence, it is all of those days at once. Or? Or you c***s need to buy a new calendar. This is my day. Please listen very carefully. Today is not Christmas Day. It is not Christmas. We are not celebrating Christmas today. Do you understand? We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hope you like that. We are three wise men and we bring you gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. We have absolutely no idea what myrrh is. But we thought you'd like some anyway. What the fuck are you doing? I'm reenacting the moment when the three wise men meet the little baby Jesus. Well, could you tell them to keep the noise down, please? I have a headache. At least I'm doing something that conjures up the spirit of Christmas. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm not sure, but it's giving me a very warm feeling inside. Tosser. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't swear in front of the Virgin Mary. And I'd appreciate it if you didn't exist. So, cleaning yourself. It must take a lot of practice to do it properly. You need to be quite supple. So, you probably have to work out. Do you think you could teach me how to do it? Why are you so weird? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The Christmas tree is a big hit with Trevor, then. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Could you stop doing that, please, mate? It'll make all the needles fall off. Just a minute. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah! One thing I'll say for him. He's very thorough. Good tree this year. Yeah, thanks. What's that? It's a small tableau depicting the birth of Jesus. Can I have a look? Do you promise not to try and fuck it? Yeah. Then of course you can. I'm always impressed by the fact that even the most cynical people can be deeply touched by the religious significance of Christmas. I wouldn't be too sure. If I'm not much mistaken, he's attempting to crossbreed the shepherd with the donkey. Oh, come on now. Stop that. Have you no respect for organised religion? In what way is it religious when the baby Jesus is being adored by My Little Pony, Desperate Dan and Action Man Deep Sea Diver? I did the best I could at short notice. When's dinner? Ask Hamish. He's in the kitchen now, putting the finishing touches to a rather splendid traditional Christmas lunch. Fuck! I've had a Christmas card from my boyfriend, Vince. It would seem that he's taken a group of underprivileged children to visit Santa in Lapland, which is why he can't be with me on December the 25th this year. He knows I'll be disappointed, but says, if I could just see the grateful smiles on the children's tear-stained faces, I'd understand. 
And in the words of former 70s pop star and one-time Irish presidential candidate, Dana, he says it's going to be a cold, cold Christmas without me. Turd. Apparently, there's been a cock-up with the room booking at the Lapland Hilton, so he's had to move into a small igloo just south of the Arctic Circle with one of Santa's helpers, whose name is Sharon. She's 16, surprisingly grown up for her age, and it's her job to stuff the turkeys in the Father Christmas canteen. Vince says he'll be staying on for a bit to help her with her work. I think I know what he'll be stuffing this Christmas. When he gets back, I'm going to remove his giblets, replace them with sage and onion, and then put them in the oven at 175 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes per pound, and 20 minutes over. I wish the drugs would work. I really do. Well, this is fun. Now that Jamie Oliver here has well and truly buggered up dinner, what are we going to eat? It's not my fault. I did my best. Well, your best is shit. I know. Why don't we play a traditional Christmas game? Such as? What about the minister's cat? And that's a traditional Christmas game, is it? It is if you played at Christmas. I'll start. OK, here we go. The minister's cat's a curvaceous cat. The minister's cat is a charming cat. The minister's cat's a cooperative cat. The minister's cat is... How does this work again? It's very simple. All you have to do is think of a word that starts with C. Oh, right. Start again. One, two, three, four. The minister's cat's a curvaceous cat. The minister's cat is a charming cat. The minister's cat's a cooperative cat. The minister's cat is a... You always have to spoil everything, don't you, Trevor? Why don't we sing some Christmas carols instead? Why don't we just accept it's not Christmas and do what we normally do? No, I absolutely refuse to let Trevor rub himself up against me. I'll go on. It is Christmas after all. What was that? It sounds like a fat lady in high heels who has just fallen through a window onto a plate of jelly. Or it might not be. It's burglars. They're after the presents. There aren't any presents because we didn't buy any because it's not Christmas. So what are they after then? Perhaps it's him. Who? Father Christmas. Oh, God. Why would Father Christmas want to steal the presents? It makes no sense. You're right. It's a mystery wrapped in an enigma hidden in a riddle. Whereas you are a twat. Maybe it really is burglars. Don't be so stupid. Why the hell would burglars break in here? It's probably just the boiler exploding. The one thing it is not is burglars. OK, so it is burglars. Well, this is without doubt the most shit Christmas ever. Well done, everybody. Of course. They may not have been burglars at all. Really? So who were those masked intruders that broke into our home, tied us up and then stole everything? They could have been Santa's elves. Well, it's certainly something of a radical departure from their traditional image. You ass. Look, take it easy. First things first. We're in a tricky situation and need to take some sort of action. Such as? Well, since this whole Christmas thing was his idea, I suggest we beat the crap out of the parrot and then eat him in lieu of Christmas dinner. Can't you eat someone else? I like your idea, and yet I feel it is unworkable until such a time as we are no longer fucking well tied together. Right, so what's the best thing to do when you're in a tricky situation? Panic? Shout for help. Put on a nativity play? No. Work together. If we crawl to the left, I may be able to reach the scissors. Uh, no, oh, no, my uh, left, my left. Oh, that's it. Oh. That's it. Uh, nearly there. And uh, oh, bollocks! I really hate Christmas. At Christmas, I especially enjoy reading festive literature. My favourites, in no particular order, are A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, I think that's in the Bible, Busman and Leonard Dear at Fugard, and the December Argos gift catalogue. I think I like them so much because if you read them together, then you can enjoy the Yuletide season from both a spiritual and material perspective. For instance, 
You can get all depressed by reading about Tiny Tim's useless little legs and then cheer yourself up by browsing a selection of the latest digital cameras. When I was a kid, we always celebrated as a family. On Christmas Eve, my sisters would start preparing the food. Me and my brothers would put up the decorations and my mother would renew her annual court order restraining my father from coming within 50 yards of the house. Yes, I love Christmas. I wonder if any of the three wise men drank their own urine. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh.